And for more on the ANC's manifesto, particularly focusing on unemployment and job creation, we're now joined by a Labour expert, Michael Bagriam, and he joins us via our video link. Um, Mr. Bagriam, thank you so much for joining us this evening here on SABC News. And of course, uh, taking it back and looking at the ANC's commitments and promises it made in its manifesto launch, uh, quite uh, startling coming out is the issue around job creation. The, the Ramaphosa there uh, saying that the ANC has committed itself to uh, creating 2.5 million jobs in five years should it return to power. How possible is that? Thank you, Mabali, and thanks for having me on air. I appreciate it. Look, what is, what is positive is that job creation was the head of all the other issues. So that is the main issue, and we see this from all the political parties. Every single political party has put job creation as the head of it. The problem that we have is that the promises are not backed up by anything. There's no dates, there's no plan. Uh, all uh, the president could tell us is that he has a plan. And this presidential employment stimulus is just the same as the EPWP. You just had a little clip on it. And those aren't jobs. Those are job opportunities. And like the speaker said, that that point was that there were six to 12 months. There's no training. People are going in with, some of them have got degrees and diplomas. Um, yes, it's needed. I'm not knocking the program. What I'm saying is this is not an answer. This is not something that is justifiable for the future. When you want to create 2.5 million jobs, you can't get government to do that. Government must merely create a situation that is conducive for the business community to create the jobs. Because jobs like the EPWP, those outreach jobs that we're seeing, is just money that's coming straight out of the fiscus and they don't have the money. So the promise of 2.5 million job opportunities, even though it might be for three days or six months, is just never going to come to pass. We've had this promise in the last three sonas, and every time there's a promise, sometimes it's 5 million jobs, sometimes it's a million jobs, this time it's 2.5 million jobs, we're just not going to see it. So you can hold your breath, but it's just not going to happen. So the reality is, I was hoping to be able to see that the ANC would come forward and say, look, we've been doing things wrong in the past. We know that we've had job disaster for the last 20 years. Obviously, we can't keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. And it's an old experiment, an old scientific experiment. If you keep doing the same thing, you're not going to get different results. You're going to get the same. Every quarter, we're seeing jobs being lost. Every quarter, we're seeing people standing on the street. It's absolutely impossible. If you look at the previously disadvantaged areas, which what the pictures are showing us, those people either have to create something for themselves and try and eke out a living, or they're going to be in that queue of 70% unemployment. And the youth is the same thing. From the ages of 16 to 25, it's over 75% unemployment, and there's nothing changed. This manifesto is the same manifesto with different figures every single year. And we've had the manifesto launch five years ago. There was no difference then. What is good is that the president did say, at last, we're going to engage with the private sector. Now, that's important because it's the private sector that creates the jobs for the future. It's small business that's going to be the job creator of the future. And what can you do to help as a government? You can create an environment which is conducive to job creation. Cost government nothing. All they need to do, the low-hanging fruit, for instance, yeah. is to take small businesses and remove them from the bargaining councils. Quite simple. And would you say that, uh, you know, that is the only way uh, for this country with a struggling economy like ours, uh, when we hear of President Ramaphosa speaking about uh, job creation, that the only way to create quality and sustainable job creation is through the private sector? It's absolutely through the private sector and somehow the president has missed that point. His advisors must be telling him that. The economists around the world are telling us that, and somehow he's missed it. Uh, I mean, we know what's going on in this country. We know that government is almost bankrupt. They don't have money to throw at these 
at these schemes. We know they have to fix energy. They have to fix transport. They have to fix logistics. Just about every single parastatal is bankrupt. Yes, through fraud and cadre deployment and whatever else it is. But let's forget about politics. This is jobs. Jobs we need. So what do you do? You take a, f a feather out of the cap of what they're doing in Nigeria uh, or Angola or any of our neighbors. They are bringing down unemployment below 10%. Or we can look at the Western province that has brought down unemployment to 19%. They're probably doing something right. And it's, it's simple. There's no magic. There's no secret and there's no magic to it. What you need to do is take small businesses and deregulate them. Take the Labor Relations Act away. So for, if you employ someone for one year, you don't have to go through a process of hiring and firing. We know in South Africa, we know what to do, but somehow the ANC has got it wrong and they don't want to correct it and they're gonna keep doing it. And where do we go from here? The only way we can go, and I have, I have actually a, a, a real good feeling I've got a good feeling that after these elections, there's going to be a realignment. That realignment is going to say, let's get back to basics. Let's get back to employing South Africa. This is a rich country. There's young people. They're keen. They're energetic. You heard an interview just now on, on the show. That man, that man has got a qualification. He shouldn't be sweeping the streets. And in, quite, in fact, he doesn't even get the national minimum wage. He's getting half of the national minimum wage. It's a disgrace. And what we need is we need to get him into a job, maybe even a small business. And we need to also ensure that we've got the businesses that are sitting in the townships, that we give them the training, we give them access to finance, and then they will employ their friends. We don't want to harass them by saying they're labor laws or harass them by saying you need to join bargaining councils. Yeah. That's all madness when we are in a situation where we are now. How desperate uh, is, in, uh, is, is South Africa in need of uh, a job creation right now? Well, we, so officially we're sitting at 40% unemployment. That, that by any standard anywhere in the world is unsustainable. There is every single family in South Africa that can tell you that they've got people sitting at home that can't find jobs. They're active people, they're bright people, they're strong people, and they cannot find a job. That's not sustainable at all, and it's a desperate situation. We must have these people at the workplace. We can't wait another five years uh, to go through a, a whole new system and to again get the same uh, problems that we're experiencing. We don't want job opportunities. What we want is jobs. Jobs are created by businesses, in particular small businesses. We need to support those small businesses, and we need to make sure that every small business, there are about 2 million small businesses in South Africa. If every small business it will take in two or three people, well, then we've got far beyond the two and a half million people that have been offered as job opportunities. And it costs government nothing, absolutely nothing. Well, they haven't got the money anyway. You know, we're spending a billion rand a day servicing our debt. Can you imagine if we didn't have debt and we had that million rand, billion rand a day to distribute to small businesses? We'd have a thriving economy like they have in Nigeria. It's working. Right. Why is it working? Because they've deregulated. All right, Ms. Bagram, thank you so much for your time uh, this evening. That is uh, Michael Bagram there giving us analysis when it comes to the uh, ANC's uh, manifesto and its priority, the main priority there being right at the top is the issue around job creation. Uh, ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa also uh, committing himself there to the creation of 2.5 million jobs.